Hey there, welcome back. In case we haven't met yet, my name is B, and I love to code the heck out of Squarespace and teach other designers how to do it too. Today is the first day of the 12 days of Christmas, a video series where I'll be sharing with you one new Squarespace customization tutorial every single day until December 12th. I thought we'd start out today with a very quick but very useful customization for the navigation items. We'll be looking at how we can make the title folder clickable to redirect to any page that we have inside the website or elsewhere. This little trick is something you're going to be able to apply to both 7.0 and 7.1 sites, but I'll be working with 7.1 in the tutorial. So if you need to apply this for a 7.0 site, make sure to check out the link in the description box below to get the code. All right, and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into it. Alrighty, so here I have a 7.1 site and right now I have a folder up here in my navigation that's called resources and it links to guides, services and FAQs. However, what I want to do here is I want to create a landing page for sort of like the main resources page that gives you a little bit of an overview regarding the guides, the services and the FAQs. Now, natively, we can't really click on that main link that we have in here in the navigation. I mean, we can click on it, but it's not really going to lead anywhere. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a little script to be able to change that and to redirect the page that this originally leads to, which is nowhere, <laughs> to the page that we want to go to. So let's go ahead and jump over into our editor to see how we're going to make that happen. So here I have my resources folder. So this is the one that I have right now in the navigation. And the important part here is to remember what the URL slug of that folder is. So mine is just simply called resources. And then down here inside the not link section, I have the page that I actually want to point to, which is called resources overview. And it has a URL slug of resources dash overview. Now, those two URL slugs are pretty much everything you need to be able to make that title folder clickable. So let's go ahead and set everything up. I'm going to go into settings, advanced and code injection. And then here, the first thing that you need to keep in mind is that because the code we're going to be using includes jQuery, you need to have your jQuery library loaded on your page. So basically what that means is that you need to have a link that looks kind of like this. Sometimes it says ajax.googleappy, so any of those could work. In order to ensure that the code that we're going to be using, the actual script that is going to redirect from the title folder to our new page actually works. If you already have one of those links in there, you can go ahead and leave it, whether it's inside the header or the footer area. But if you don't have that already, make sure to grab it from the code that comes with this tutorial. All right. So once we have that in there, let's just go ahead and bring in our script. So I'm going to paste it in here and I'm going to walk you through what it actually says. So here I have the little script. And basically what this is doing is it's going to look through all of the Heather Nat folder title elements. So basically all the links that we have in here that share that common class that belong to the folders. So if you have several folders, it's going to look through the titles of each of those folders that you have in there. And then once you click on that specific link, it's going to lead to a new link. So what we need to do here is basically substitute the old link to point to that title folder that we want to redirect elsewhere. So in this case, mine would be resources. And then down here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell the browser where I want to go now after I click on that specific link. So in this case, instead of new link in here, mine is called resources overview. So now if I have that in place and then I save my changes and go back here to my test site, you can see that now if I click on resources, you can see how this leads me to a new page. So you can see how creating a redirect for a folder title is actually very simple. And in case you're wondering, yes, this is something that you can absolutely apply to multiple folders in your navigation. So let me show you. If we go back into our code, all you have to do is basically duplicate this little snippet and then set the old link and the new link for that second folder, third folder, how many folders you have on your navigation. So it would just be a matter of copying that and pasting it in here. I'm just going to clean this up a little bit. There we go. And then here you can just go ahead and add whichever old link you want. So I'm just going to type in here old link and then down here it would be a new link. And you can repeat this as many times as necessary to be able to redirect each of the different folder titles that you have on your navigation. 
All right, my friend, and there you have it. This is how you can make your folder titles clickable with a very simple script. I really hope that you found today's tutorial helpful. If you did, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss out on this series, and I will see you tomorrow.